pennies, dimes, and dollars. That's money and we use it every day. We go to stores and we pay for things we buy. We buy food and clothes and games. People work for money, have a job, get paid. New penny, old penny. A penny is worth one cent. It says so right here. It's made of orange colored copper. President Lincoln is on the front. A shield or memorial is on the back. Cent is the symbol for cents. One cent. A dime is worth ten cents. Ten cents. It's silver colored. President Roosevelt is on the front. A torch, olive, and oak branches are on the back. A dollar is worth one hundred cents. Dollar sign is the symbol for dollar. One dollar equals one hundred cents. It has won many places. President Washington is on the front. The word one is on the back. One cent. Ten cents. One hundred cents. One dollar equals one hundred cents. Joe buys an apple. Joe picks an apple from the shelf and goes to the cash register. The grocery store cashier says, The price is one dollar and three cents. Joe pays one dollar and three pennies to the cashier. The cashier gives Joe a receipt and the apple. Counting to twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. The numbers ten to twenty are two-digit numbers. There is a tens place and a ones place. The number 12 means 10 plus 2 equals 12. The number 13 is 10 plus 3 equals 13. The 1 in the tens place is one bundle of 10, 13 cents in pennies. We can trade 10 pennies for one dime. It's faster to count money using dimes instead of all pennies. The number 20 is 10 plus 10 equals 20. The 2 in the tens place is 2 bundles of 10. 20 cents in pennies. 2 dimes equals 20 cents. Price tag. When you go to a store, you will see a price tag for each thing. The price is usually written in dollars. Dollar sign 0, decimal point 0.15. This is 15 cents using the dollar sign. The number in front of the decimal point is the number of dollars. The number after the decimal point is the number of cents. Joe needs to buy a bolt, two washers, and a nut from the hardware store. How much money does Joe need? 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 equals how much? Add two numbers at a time. Try to make tens. 10 plus 7 equals 17. Joe needs to pay 17 cents total price. Joe pays 20 cents for the 17 cent total price. How much change does Joe get back? Price plus change equals paid. 17 plus change equals 20. The answer 3 is shown in the blue squares. We can count on until we get to the amount paid. 17, 18, 19, 20. Here is the receipt. Joe has 10 cents. A piece of gum is 3 cents. How many pieces of gum can Joe buy? One piece of gum, 3 less than 10, is true. Yes, Joe can buy one piece of gum. Two pieces of gum, 6 less than 10, is true. Yes, three pieces of gum, 9 less than 10 is true. Yes, 4 pieces of gum, 12 less than 10 is false. Joe can buy 3 pieces of gum. 
If Joe pays nine cents for gum, how much money would Joe have left? Ten minus nine equals one cent. Counting to ninety nine. We count from zero to nine in the ones place, then add one to the tens place, then repeat. Twenty plus one equals twenty one. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Counting by ten. Add ten each time. For example, ten plus ten equals twenty. Twenty plus ten equals thirty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one hundred ten, one hundred twenty. Counting ninety nine to one hundred twenty. Ninety nine uses all the numbers in the ones place and the tens place. Ninety nine plus one equals one hundred. The one goes in the hundreds place. How many squares are yellow? Forty two. How many dimes and pennies make forty two cents? How many is forty two plus ten? Add the ones, add the tens. How many dimes and pennies make fifty two cents? How many is fifty two plus three? Add the ones, add the tens. How many dimes and pennies make fifty five cents? How many is fifty five plus eight? Five plus eight equals thirteen. Thirteen equals ten plus three. Carry the one ten to the top of the tens places. Add the five to the carried one. Add the ones. Add the tens. How many dimes and pennies make sixty three cents? How many is sixty three minus ten? Subtract the ones. Subtract the tens. How many dimes and pennies make fifty three cents? How many is fifty three minus nineteen? Nine is larger than three, so borrow a ten from the tens place. Thirteen minus nine equal four. Subtract the ones, subtract the tens. How many dimes and pennies make thirty four cents? Joe spends twenty cents. How much is left? Forty cents. Comparing numbers, true or false. Small is less than big. Big is greater than small. There are many more coins and bills. Dollar bills worth more than one dollar are common. The number written on it is how much it is worth. A five dollar bill is pictured here next to the one dollar bill. Dollar bills can be worth one dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, and one hundred dollars. The five cent nickel and the twenty five cent quarter are commonly used coins.